What's going on YouTube? Thanks for clicking on another Dirt Road Outdoors TV video here. On this week's episode, we're heading down to Florida to meet up with one of my good buddies, Chris San Angelo, down at Seminole Prairie Safaris. Got my buddy Rick Harpo bringing his family in from New Jersey. We're gonna chase around some gators and hogs. Well, this is going to be my third year in a row going down to Seminole Prairie. Three years ago, I was able to go down and kill a beautiful axis buck. Well, last year, I brought my family down, let my oldest daughter, Elena, have her first ever hunting experience. She killed a gator and two hogs. Well, this year, it's all about the Carpos. Going to meet them at the airport down there in Fort Myers, get a game yeah, plan together, and we're going to head to Seminole Prairie. <laughs> How you doing, Rick? There he is. You guys ready to get after some critters? There's Annie. <laughs> well, Rick's brother-in-law, Lou, brought his family with, and his two sons, Louie and Dylan, they'll also be hunting on these next couple episodes. And I'll tell you what, little Dylan, he loves the video camera. Well, our plan that first morning was to go out and see if we couldn't find a hog or two, and then that afternoon we were going gator hunting. Well, this morning we're all going together. We're going to take the dogs out and do a dog hunt. Well, we're going to a spot where Chris and Jared have seen a few hogs in the last couple days. Going to turn them dogs loose. Hopefully they can get on a trail real quick. And then we'll turn a bay dog loose, a pit bull. He'll go in there, try to bay that hog. And we'll have to sneak in there, either get a shot or they'll have to get him with a spear. Well, we just turned the dogs loose. Let's see what happens. We're down with Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Well, it didn't take long. The dogs were on the first hog. Well, the dogs are on this big old hog. This is about to get real. There's no cutaways. This is exactly how it happened. You Come saw on. one? No, the dog just ran right across here. Listen, get, get your spear ready. You leave it in there, we'll right back out. Keep yeah. the sheath on until we get in there. Seminole Prairie Safaris and we were on the board. We've only literally let the dogs loose and 15 minutes later they had the job done. These guys know what they're doing. Little Ricky's on the board. Dylan's he's chomping at the bit to be, to be next. Yeah, I'm gonna stab Louis, it. You, you don't say much. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> he don't care, he just came here to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Better watch out, your big brother take you, I'll give you a lick in the bush. Hey, he'd be scared of me. Well, as you see, hog hunting with a dog is going to be very intense. It's very fast paced, so you got to be in pretty good shape to do it. And we'll get more in depth on that in the next video. Plus, you're going to see a bunch more of my new sidekick. Hey. Got the old rug rat right here running the camera for me. My main man, Dylan. What's up? What's up? We're in Okeechobee, Florida. We got the pig squealer right here himself. Yeah, I, I attract pigs. So when you want to get a pig and kill one, hit me up. Ain't that right, Uncle Rick? He's a pig squealer. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't even never see a pig. He squeals them all in. I got, I'm doing the camera for us, for the YouTube. This segment of Dirt Road Outdoors TV is brought to you in the memory of Hunter Wayne Burgo. Gone too early, but never will be forgotten. 
Well, we had fun this morning chasing around some hogs. Now it's time to go gator hunting. We're actually gonna be gator hunting on one of the bigger dairy farms in South Florida here. And you know, these farmers, they'll put up with the gators till they get to about eight and a half foot. But once they get over eight and a half, them eight and a half to 12 footers, they're always afraid they're gonna get their calves. So usually when they find a big one, they're gonna call a guy like Chris and want him to come in and try to take these gators on here. Ricky Carpole licensed the kill. Well, the farmer called Chris and said he'd seen a gator somewhere between that nine and a half to 10 foot range. So hopefully we can find that gator tonight. Well, there's two big reservoirs on this farm where the farmer holds water so he can irrigate his field. And that's where these big gators have been hanging out. So hopefully we can sneak up along the edges of the canal, slide up them irrigation ponds, find a big gator and sneak into range. All right, we are gator hunting in Florida. Got a little Ricky Carpo, has got a tag. Got the main man Chris ready to guide him to a good one. We are gonna sneak out along this reservoir and uh, see if we can't sneak up and find ourselves a gator. I got all kinds of cameras, but it's gonna start raining, so make sure our lenses don't get too wet. Well, we end up getting out of the truck, sneaking up the first reservoir and get glassing, and we see there's two small gators in there. So we need to back out, sneak around, and slide up to the second reservoir. Well, just as we slide up, just get into position, all of a sudden it downpours. Well, luckily for us, there was a pump house about 100 yards away. We all run the pump house and let the rain pass. Well, as soon as the rain stopped, we ended up sneaking back up that second reservoir. We sat down there, just going to glass for a while and wait for the gators to show themselves. Well, as we were sitting there, a small little gator swam in to check us out. Well, after about 15 minutes of glassing, we finally and spotted a big old gator. It looks like a, about a nine, 10 footer. He's like 200 and uh, 225. Okay, I got him. Well, they're about 225 yards away, so we need to back up, sneak around, and get in position. While we end up sneaking into position, now we got just one thing working against us. We're looking directly into the sunset. <laughs> I gotta get out of the sun. Well, he ends up hitting that gator just perfect. You know, there's not a lot of time to celebrate right now because Chris has got to run back, get the truck, get up here, get the fishing poles, get the gaff line, and try to get this gator before he sinks to the bottom. Well, let's slow it down. Let's watch that shot one more time. Well, Chris gets back to the truck, and now the fun ends and the work begins. Time to try to get a line into that gator. We know there's at least three other good gators in this reservoir right now. Hey, look, so we need to really right be there. keeping an eye out for Chris as he swims out there to try to find another one. Well, that's when you know you got a good hunt guide right there. When he's going to put in every effort it is. Hey, many guys going to swim out in a reservoir that's full of big gators to help you get your gator out of the water. <laughs> well, finally, Chris finds the gator. Time to help him get him back to shore. Well, it turns out to be just a great gator, and it being nine foot three, 
pretty awesome experience. I know all the carpools were pretty excited. Well, we were running out of light in a hurry, so Chris tied the gator, went back, put him in a cooler that night. The next morning, we got him back out and took a bunch of pics. Well, that's going to be a great addition to Little Ricky's Trophy Room. And I know they had a big gator feed up in New Jersey on Mother's Day weekend at the Carpos. You know, they shared that gator meat with all their family and friends. I know they had a great time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode down in Seminole Prairie. There will be a part two coming up in the next few weeks from down in Seminole Prairie. But right now, hopefully you guys will go down, leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here next time on Dirt Road Outdoors TV.